Hey everybody, CJ here. In my past few videos I've been asking for suggestions in different loadouts that I can do in different projects I can work on um, for the different classes and I've been having a lot of great feedback from you guys and one of the suggestions was can you do an all genuine loadout? And as you can see here there are a lot of genuine items in the game. There's so many cosmetics and there are a lot of weapons that have the genuine quality. The genuine quality comes from when an item comes from a promotion rather than you know somewhere else in game you know from a random drop. So for example you know the spy crab here this was get, uh, got from buying the uh, the actual plushy spy crab in real life and things like the wing stick this came from the game rage if you bought the game rage on a pre-order then you got the item in game as well and that goes for all of the genuine items they all have some sort of promotional value to them and as you can see there's a lot of cosmetics so the idea of getting all of the cosmetics on the classes isn't that big of a deal but the actual weapons they're quite specific. There are some classes that have a lot of genuine weapons and there are some that don't have that many. So I've been working out to see if I can find out if I can get a genuine, all genuine loadout on every single class. Now, spoilers alert, okay? There are only three classes out of the nine that can have every slot filled with a genuine item. So, you know, don't skip forward ahead of the video. See if you can work it out in your head. See if you can think or if you can guess which classes out of the nine, which three classes are able to have all genuine loadouts um, as opposed to not being able to have every slot filled up. Okay, so I set myself a few rules when I was doing this. The first rule was when it came to cosmetics, I wanted to do use the cosmetics that were designed for that class. So, for example, the Grizzle Growth is obviously for the Engineer, the Spy Crab is for the Spy. Rather than using things like the Horus or things like the Potato Hat, that can be all class. Because I thought you could just basically do the same loadout if you're just going to use, you know, the Deus Specs and the Potato Hat, etc. So I tried to do class-specific items before I opted for... All class and when it came to the weapons I did the same because obviously we got a number of weapons and tried to not do multiples of any of the hats or any of the items um, also I discounted using any of the medals because you know you get genuine medals for playing in competitive um, and for winning competitive leagues and I thought I'm just going to ignore those you know obviously I could just slap them all on and have them on all of the classes but that'd be quite boring i wanted to stick to cosmetics so what we'll do we'll start from the beginning and we're going to scout so there we go scout cannot have an all genuine loadout there isn't a genuine primary for the scout um it does have the uh, genuine secondary which is the guillotine and it does have uh, a few second uh, sorry a few melee weapons you've got the three room blade there's also something like the fan of war um the sun on the stick that the scout can use and for my cosmetics what i've opted for is the uh, alien set the uh, the alien cranium, the biomech backpack, and the xeno suit. Um, there are a lot of different things you can do with the scout. There's lots of different uh, class specific genuines. Now, when it came to the uh, the action slot, there's only two genuines. There's the genuine noisemaker for the vuvuzela, and there's the genuine noisemaker for the koto. Um, so I've just popped the vuvuzela in every single action slot across all of the classes. Oh, it's disappeared now. Now that I've clicked that. Um, and it makes a horrible sound in the background. But there you go, that's the scout. It cannot. It doesn't have a primary uh, that is genuine. One does not exist, so maybe that's something to uh, think about. Moving on to the soldier. Here we go, the soldier can have an all-genuine loadout. Start off with the rocket launcher. It's the original. Got that from getting uh, Quick 4, I believe, um, a long time ago. Then we've got the bison. This is a, this is a strange, genuine one. And then you've got the half Satoichi, which is multi-class. You can use it on Demon Man as well. Um, there isn't actually a specific melee for the soldier, but you can use the half Satoichi on him. And then we've got the Brain Bucket, the Menpo, and the Brimstone. Um, there's lots of different things you can do with the soldier. Of course, the Vuvuzela as well. So we move on to Pyro. Now, Pyro cannot have all genuine. Um, we've got the primary, which is the Nostromo Napalma, which came from one of the Alien games. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of paired up with the uh, the alien suit that we saw in the scout. There isn't, excuse me, there isn't a genuine secondary for the pyro. There's no flare gun, no shotgun, nothing like that that you can use on the pyro as a secondary. And for the pri uh, sorry, for the uh, for the melee, there is the maul. There's also things like the fire axe, um, and uh, there is one other. I'm 
trying to remember off the top of my head. It's the Neon Annihilator, yes, um, which you can also have. And then we've got the Centurion, we've got the Deus Spex, and the Russian Rocketeer uh, for, the, uh, for the cosmetics. We move on to Demiman. Now, Demiman looks rather bare, doesn't he? There is no genuine grenade launcher and there is no genuine sticky bomb launcher. You cannot have genuines in the primary or the secondary slot for Demo Man. And when it comes to melee, the only thing you can have is an all-class melee, like the Freedom Staff. So pop the Freedom Staff in here. There are other genuines that you can have that are all-class. And um, you can have the House of Toichi um, if you want to. Um, but there's a, there's a few others as well. But yeah, the Demo Man is very, very limited when it comes to his weapons uh, that are genuine. With the, uh, with the hats and cosmetics... You know, we've got the tartan shade here, we've got the Scotland cape, and we've got the tartan loons. Um, there are quite a lot of cosmetics for the Demo Man that are genuine, but when it comes to weapons, he is very thin on the ground. We'll move on to Heavy, and BAM! This is the second class that has an all-genuine loadout. So the first one was the Soldier, and the second one is the Heavy. Uh, so we start off with the primary, which is the Hulong Heater. The secondary is the Robo Sandwich. Now this is the only genuine, I believe. Um, in the, the secondary slot and it's a rather expensive one. The Robo Sandwich came inside the What's in the Sandwich box um, or Sandwich box I should say um, and it was it was quite pricey. It's still probably rather expensive um, but yeah it's uh, one of the rarer genuines and then we've got the Apoco Fists. There's a couple of different things you can have but I just slapped on the Apoco Fists um, and when it comes to the cosmetics we've got the Dragonborn Helmet obviously that came from pre-ordering Skyrim Elder Scrolls 5. Uh, we've got the Companion Cube Ping here, and then we've got the Purity Fist. This was one of the ones that came from pre-ordering uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, which is the, uh, not the latest one, but the, the game before that. Um, so we'll move on to Engineer. Now again, the Engineer is a little bit thin on the ground, and I've got to have, I've got to make it a bit of apology here, guys, because I've let you down. I've let you down somewhat. Um, I'll talk to you about that in a second. So we start off with the Genuine Widowmaker, that game Again, it came from the Deus Ex uh, pack, as well as the Short Circuit. So that's the primary and uh, secondary, sorted for the Engineer. Um, PDA, there is no other PDA other than the Strange PDA. We had that issue, didn't we, when we were trying to do an all-unusual loadout on the Engineer. And that slot remains just regular or strange. There's nothing else you can do about it. Now, when it comes to wrench, there is no genuine wrench for the Engineer. However, there is a genuine that the Engineer can use in his melee slot. And that is the, the Prinny Knife. Is it the Prinny Knife? The Prinny Machete? Um, now the problem with that is I don't own it. <laughs> I don't actually own the Prinny Machete. Um, I don't own a genuine one, I should say. The only way to get a genuine one was to pre-order some sort of game. Um, I can't remember what it was. And I didn't pre-order that game, I didn't get it. And you can only buy a regular one, a unique one from the store, as the genuine ones are untradeable. So I've been unable to get this Prinny Machete um, for the, the purpose of this video. Hopefully in the future it becomes tradable. Most genuines take a little bit of time after their release to become tradable. Some have never become tradable, like the Spy Crab for the Spy. Um, but that did come along with a plushie that wasn't a game uh, genuine. So hopefully the Prinny Machete, the genuine version, will become uh, tradable at some point. And then I can put it on here. And then at least the Engineer will have three genuine things until they get some sort of different PDAs. I want to see some different PDAs. I mean, not just for collector's sake, but it would be interesting to have different PDAs. I mean, I do wonder why the Pip-Boy here, which we've got, you know, can you see it on his arm? That came from pre-ordering Fallout 3 or owning Fallout 3. Um, is it pre-ordering Fallout 3? I can't remember. But it's something to do with Fallout 3. And you've got the genuine Pip-Boy. I do wonder why that isn't considered a PDA. You know, you could put that down there. It changes the appearance of the PDA in-game. You know, when you've got your build and your destruction menu, it does change the aesthetics. Um, so it would be interesting if they could convert that into a PDA. And then, actually, the engineer could have an all-genuine loadout. Uh, but we've got the Hetman's headpiece on the hat. And then we've got the genuine prize plushy which uh little pink bear there he is and once again there's quite a few things for the engineer cosmetic wise uh but when it comes to the loadout we are again a little bit limited on what we can use move on to the medic and a medic again is a very very bare there is no uh primary uh for the medic that is genuine 
and there is no secondary for the medic that is genuine either. Um, it is very, uh, very limited in that respect. And when it comes to the melee as well, just like Demo Man, there is no melee specifically for the medic that is genuine. We have to use the Ham Shank, which is one of the all class ones. Um, and obviously that's just a, just like a default melee. So the medic actually, when it comes to weapons, has no genuine items designed for him. Um, which is uh, which is interesting. There was something about having genuine Vitasaurs to do with Bioshock, but then there's sort of legal ramifications behind that as to why it didn't become a thing. Um, when it comes to the cosmetics, there we've got the Planes Walker Helm here. We've got the Archimedes, and we've got the genuine Scrap Pack, which changes at the back there to something a little bit more spiky compared to the, the regular thing. And we'll move on to the Sniper now. The sniper can't have all genuine either. He's got the upper hand in the primary. He's got quite a few primaries. You've got the uh, the frontier compound, is it called? Let me have a look. The uh, fortified compound, sorry. Fortified compound. And there's also the machina as well that you can have as a primary um, genuine. On the secondary, though, there are no genuines. There's no SMG. There's no Jurati, nothing like that. That can be used as genuine. And when it comes to the melee, once again... There is no specific melee for the sniper. You can use one of the all class ones, you know, they've got the ham shank here. There's also different ones uh, going around, um, like the uh, the freedom staff and the pretty machete. Uh, but we've got the ham shank here. So, yeah, um, when it comes to the cosmetics, there's quite a few. They've got the anger that came from pre ordering uh, Brink or owning Brink, which was uh, a TF2 killer back in the day. I suppose they're going to be. The game that killed TF2, and that was, God, that was like five years ago now, or something like that. And then we've got the genu Genuine Triad Trinket and the Champ Stamp. Now, both of these came from, ooh, was it Watch, no, not Watch Dogs, what was it called? Sleeping Dogs, Sleeping Dogs, that was a game a while ago. Um, and yeah, so that's what those came with, and of course the movie's Zayla down there. And finally, last but not least, we have got the Spy, which is the third class that can have all genuine in every slot. And it's quite interesting the fact that it has got, you know, four slots for the weapons and uh, it can actually have genuine in all of them. So we've got the diamond back, which came from Deus Ex Human Revolution. We've got a genuine sharp dresser, which came from one of the uh, Assassin's Creed games, uh, which is basically just a reskin for the default knife. We've got the genuine Quackenbert, which is a, it's a watch and it came, it's just a regular Invis watch, a reskin. And that came from, or if my memory serves, one of the Hitman games. Uh, that came out and then we've got the genuine app sap which is a, just a reskin of the default sapper you can also have the uh the red tape recorder there is a genuine version of that um and there's actually a, a few different genuines on the uh, the knives as well uh but the app sap that came from portal 2 um and that is just a reskin of the default uh sapper and then on the the cosmetics we've got the dashing hashashashin <laughs> which came from assassin's creed that's the hat thing here we've got the distinguished rogue which has different styles, and it's just kind of the bodysuit. And then we've got the genuine spy crab at level 69, and I've got one of those in real life as well. That's where I got the spy crab from. And then, of course, the Vuvuzela. So there we go. The spy is one of the three classes that can have genuines in every single slot, which is uh, something that, um, you know, surprises me considering how many weapons you know it does have like the engineer it has those four slots um but it did surprise me when i thought about this and when i was asked about making a genuine load all genuine loader i thought that would be easy um you know all of the classes have everything but apparently not and it wasn't until today that i actually sat down and thought hang on a minute some of these classes don't actually have genuine items in these slots, which makes it rather interesting. But obviously, that will probably change in the future as more items are getting released in genuine format when they get released with games. And there are some guy, um, some some uh, items that are being made into genuine uh, things like you know the Master's Yellow Belt and the Glengarry Bonnet that have been added into the game as genuine in addition. You know later on when people have bought real life stuff from the store. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little, I suppose, little expose on, you know, the genuine items that are available in the game. 
Um, as always, feedback is welcome. Let me know what other kind of stuff you want to see. Obviously, I'm working on that collector's loadout, that all collector's loadout for Spy. I have been making some progress. I won't be making a video until I've got the finished product. Um, but next up, I'm going to see if I can do the same with vintage items. So keep an eye out for that video in the future. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you next time.